Good morning. This is our devotion for Friday. I'm in 1 John chapter 4, starting with verse 15. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him, and he in God. And we have come to know and have believed the love which God has for us. God is love, and the one who abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. By this, love is perfected with us, so that we may have confidence in the day of judgment, because as he is, so also are we in the world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves punishment, and the one who fears is not perfected in love. We love because he first loved us. This is a, a back door into the idea of how gratitude comes in line with the ways that we will follow Christ. Yesterday, we talked about gratitude and worship, the idea that we look for power and strength and might, and we love to rejoice in power and strength and in might, and we would actually want to be like those people. Here we see the great work of salvation in John, 1 John chapter 4, that we abide in God and God abides in us if we know the Son. There's different places in Scripture that lay out that salvation is knowing the Father and knowing the Son. John 17, 3 is an example of that. Coming to the place where we love because He first loved us, we see His beauty, His strength, we see His glory, we see his compassion and that he knows us completely and he still loves us. Our response to his affection is we love him because he first loved us. Now we're going to get into a, a kind of tangly um, idea here. In John 14, 15, Jesus makes the statement, If you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Now, this may throw up all kinds of um, alarms and red flags for you. The law is, in a way, a complicated thing. Some people take the law and they misuse it. They don't use it lawfully. They mistreat it, and they use the law to mistreat others. The mistreatment with the law is to imagine that somebody can be saved by keeping the law. And we'll spend our whole lives wrestling with that idea and that concept. We'll constantly be falling back into the place where we may, maybe not consciously decide that we're keeping the law to be saved, but it works out that way in our hearts. We try to do good in order to save ourselves. That's a bad legalism. That's a bad use of the law. When Jesus says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. He's not saying anything like that. He's saying, if you're in the place where you know me as the Son of God, if you see me as I am, if I am in you, you are in me, and you are in me, you're going to want to be like me. If you love me, if you admire me, if you respect me, if you see who I really am, if you see what I have really done for you, you'll follow in my footsteps. You'll want to be near me. You'll want to serve me. You'll want to worship me. And we are there in that beautiful place where we're living and walking with our Savior. So we take the law, and the, the law shows us our need for Christ drives us to Christ. We see how often we sin and we fall short of the glory of God. That's a reality in every human's life. And we see the beauty of God. We see his holiness. We see his perfection. We can look at the law and see the ways that Christ kept it perfectly on our behalf. And then lastly, as we have the law, we see it as a guide for life, a guide for being like Christ a guide for expressing our love and affection for Christ. And, as we'll look at tomorrow, it's a guide for us to
to express our affection for Christ in the ways in which we love one another. I invite you to this place, recognizing that we love because he first loved us, and to seek to express that love in walking in God's truth, that is, walking in his law. May God bless you today.